Alright, test suspension 21. Ferrofluid suspension media. I have a new one that I created some time ago. This is on it. Point being that there are so many things to be invented. This ferrofluid, it's mind-boggling. I'm certainly not going to tell anybody about them. Not all ferrofluids are created alike. Dilution, suspension medium, field strength, viscosity, all the lovely variables that make experimentation extremely frustrating. I told uh, the people on another website, if you want to make the coolest ferro suspension, ferro fluid suspension, get yourself a large test vial and fill it full of 100% isopropyl alcohol, i.e. rubbing alcohol. Put in about, depending on the size of the vial, eh, like five decent sized drops of ferro fluid and watch what happens. So, fill it full of rubbing alcohol. Do not get it hot. Make sure it always stays in a cool place because it will ruin the suspension. But like I said, you only need five drops or so. So, rubbing alcohol, fill that with your vial. Four to six drops of this ferro fluid suspension. You can buy it off of eBay. However, this stuff is blacker than I would like it to be. So the particle grain size is too large. Uh, some stuff I can't talk about regarding ferrofluid, but uh, at least they can give you a hint at some of the wonders. The ferrofluid suspension, nanoparticle. As I mentioned in an earlier video, actually I showed you in an earlier video, I got a tornado in a bottle. That one is my own creation. First time ever you're able to see the vortex tornado forming inside a ferrofluid suspension. Nobody's ever seen that or created that before. So I invented that. Working on getting that perfected. Nobody will ever figure out how I made it. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was just a new suspension technique. And ferrofluid has enormous possibilities. And, uh, I think I've had an 8 ounce bottle of ferro fluid now. One bottle will last you forever since you only need a few drops at a time. And if you really want to impress people, make them happy, get little cheap, small little magnets, cheap small ones, and make the uh, rubbing alcohol ferro fluid suspension like I mentioned. It only cost you a dollar each to make, and two dollars including the magnet, so the best two dollar gift you can ever give somebody is my rubbing alcohol ferro fluid suspension inside of a, like a test tube vial whatever cost you a dollar each to make and another dollar or two depending on the size of the neodymium magnet give that to a child give that to your friend they will love you at least if they like scientific stuff nobody's ever used that suspension before too that is also my own invention Isopropyl alcohol and ferro fluid. Just remember, do not get it hot. Don't leave it in a hot place or leave it in a hot car. You'll ruin it. You'll have to make it again. But it only costs you a dollar to make, so who cares, right? So make a dozen of those and give them to your close friends, and they will love you. And it'll be the best one, <laughs> be the best one dollar you ever spent. And people will be so impressed by your cool little invention, and they have no idea that you only spent a dollar making it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.